Can we pull out a uh, uh, Death's Head Hawk Moth? Sure. Awesome. Want the Silence of the Lambs here? Oh yeah. Okay. I think it's in here somewhere. Let's see. Oh yes. Okay. So we have here a bunch of Sphinx Moths. And here's a Death's Head Hawk Moth right there. The cool thing is that Lepidoptera, which would be the moths and the butterflies, have their tongues coiled up underneath their head, just sort of like a like a watch spring. And it extends when they feed on, on the on the flowers for the nectar. But look at this. This one here has a tongue that's many times the length of its body. And then of course if you have a really, really, really long tongue like that. It means the flower has evolved to have the nectar source way at the very bottom. So it's a really long trumpet shaped flower this thing feeds in. It's just a fascinating group. Some are day flying, uh, most of them fly at night, but they're really very cool. And these are hummingbird sphinx moths with the, uh, the, the scales that get worn off the wing soon after they start flying around. And they're a common day flying species you would find in Michigan birds as well.